say good morning, Jacob. Good morning. Whoa. Good morning, Jess. Say good morning. Hi. Cheese. So, today, we are starting the day off very slow and very comfy because it has been raining for like days now and we haven't been able to get out. We went out to the shops yesterday um, just to get out of the house. But today, we don't have Daddy with us, do we? He's in Sydney. Are you okay? We're just having some indoor play today. We were just jumping on the bed. And this is as good as it's gonna get today. Just like every other day. Today's plan of attack is, um, as you guys know, Jacob has been diagnosed with sensory processing disorder. So he has issues with his sensory processing. And I thought that I'd bring the camera along as I create a sensory bedroom for him. I bought a few things um, and I already had a few things. So um, we're gonna make his space less overwhelming and more sensory appropriate for him. So as I go through, I'm gonna explain why we're gonna have different things in his bedroom. But really, we just wanna enhance his space to be the best for his sleep. So as you all know, he's not sleeping very well. So I decided to do some research and we're gonna create a sensory bedroom for Jacob. Cause what else are we gonna do on this rainy day? <laughs> huh, cheers. Huh. What else are we gonna do? Make the bed? Maybe? Maybe not. Alrighty, so while I charged the camera, I made us some lunch. It's a pretty big lunch. We're having tofu scrambles, sausages, veggie sausages, cheese, tomato, and avocado. This little girl's having some separation anxiety. <coughs> Hi, you're with me now though. I need to make some lunch. All right, let's eat and then we'll do the room. I'm going out my mind. Give me some directions to get to you. To get to you, ain't gonna waste my time. I know that we got connection, I think about you You're on my mind, on my mind, on my mind Yeah, I'm going out of my mind, out of my mind, out of my mind Yeah, for you my love You drive me crazy, tell me what to do, what to do I'm on my knees, yeah, I am begging you, begging you This girl Getting ready to eat soon. One more month. So, Jacob did pretty well. Jeez. If you haven't watched my latest video, I talk about how Jacob <coughs> been getting very fussy with his food. And um, I was at the shops yesterday and I saw the tofu and I was like, oh my God, I remember. I used to make that for him all the time. I used to love to eat it. Um, so I was like, I'm gonna make him the tofu scramble breakfast thing. I like it too, so um, we haven't had it in a while, so I thought I'd try that. He didn't eat the tofu, but he ate everything else except for the bread. He ate the avocado off the bread, cheese, sausages. I did give him a lot of food, so that is pretty good for Jacob. All right, let's get to the bedroom. Alrighty, as you can see, I've taken everything out of Jacob's bedroom and it looks like a big mess. And I've taken apart Jacob's cot already. While the camera was charging, I decided to do all that stuff so we could get ready for nap time. I'm just gonna do a quick vacuum of his room and then I'm gonna show you everything as it goes into the room what I'm putting in there and why I'm putting it in there. Jacob's helping by putting the screws in the bag there. Good job. Okay, the first thing that I'm putting into the room is a tent. And it's just a $14 tent from Big W that I bought. 
Um, we're gonna try this. I've heard from um, many reviews and like some research that I've done online that um, kids with sensory processing difficulties love the enclosed feeling of a tent. Jacob loved his cot, so when we got rid of the cot and we made it a toddler bed, I feel like he lost that security. So we're going to make his bed a tent. We're going to put his mattress inside the tent and see how that goes. To jump, don't you, Jacob? That's why we have a trampoline outside. Yay! Let's go in the tent. You wanna go in? You coming in? You coming in? That's an iron in here. Are we in the tent? Hi! Ah, oh, he joins us! He joins us! Oh, are you gonna dip his zipper? I do feel very safe in here, don't I? Hopefully this works. The next thing we're putting in is his mattress from his cot. Which we do need to get a new mattress because Jazz will be having this one very soon. But for now, you're gonna put this mattress in your tent. You ready? There you go. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna line the side here with pillows um, because that's the wall side. <laughs> Um, and it will make it more comfy in here. Are you both in there together? Wow! Oh, be careful of her, Jacob, okay? All right, let's put some pillows in. So one pillow, two pillows, that's the sleeping pillow, another pillow, and a little pillow just in here. My aim is to make it feel nice and secure in here, huh? Is it fun in here? Yeah. Sissy likes it too. Oh, she wants you so bad, Jacob. She wants to play. Soon, Sissy, soon. Okay, I'm gonna be putting this mat here in front of the tent here. So if, you know, by any chance he falls out of the tent, um, which he probably won't. Put it right here. Huh. It's nice to jump on. It's nice and squishy. You like it, don't you, Jacob? You alright in here, Missy? Yeah. Sorry, this is gonna be a loud video, um, but that's basically my life at the moment, so. Alrighty, I'm gonna have to explain this one. This here is Jazz's baby swing. Jacob likes it more than Jazz does. Jazz doesn't want to have anything to do with it. It is close to the ground, so I'm not too worried about, you know, if it breaks, then he's just going to fall like that far to the ground. But Jacob loves it as like a sensory swing until we can get one put up in our backyard. Alright, the next thing we're putting in is Jacob's little couch. We might put that over here. What do you think, Jacob? Alrighty, I just put Jazz in the swing over there, so hopefully she'll be fine. But we just got the couch in here. Um, I'm going to put it right here next to bed um, because we're going to put some books in here to have some reading time before we go to bed so he can sit on his couch, read a book before bed. Is that nice? Okay, so I just grabbed a few of Jacob's favourite books and I'm just going to put them next to the couch there. The next thing that we're putting in his room is this salt lamp. Um, it keeps a little night light on all night. It's also very good for you. Um, I've looked into the benefits and the health benefits of it. Um, but definitely good because Jacob gets scared of the dark and if he wakes up in the dark, he's not very happy. So we put this on all night and yeah, it does wonders. Remember not to put too big of a light into their room, like a, a bright night light. This one goes like orangey. This right here is a sensory sheet. 
Um, this goes wraps around the mattress, and Jacob will put it, pull it up over him, and it kind of keeps a very tight um, sheet over him at night time. So yeah, he can feel comfortable. What are you doing? My mum made it for us, didn't she? Mimi made it for us. Are you a ghost? Are you a ghost? <laughs> to go along with that. We have this um, sensory sack, I guess you'd call it. Um, this is made of lycra um, and it's sewed up at the end so he can just hop in it like, you know, like a potato sack um, and play with it and stretch it and that's really good for his sensory needs. The next thing we're putting in his room is his nighttime nappies. We always, always forget to put the nighttime nappies on at nighttime. So I'm just gonna put them in the room so we remember them. This here is Jacob's diffuser. Um, we've gotten a few samples of uh, essential oils to help Jacob with his sleepiness. So yeah, I'm gonna hook that up in the room. We've also put in um, a monitor in Jacob's room so we can monitor what he's doing. I made these sensory bottles um, here a while ago and they're called calming bottles so um, Jacob can just use them when he's feeling a bit overwhelmed and it kind of helps him to calm down. Right now, maybe you need some. So we'll just set them up next to the books here. We have a white noise machine. This Jacob has used since he was a baby. Um, we really think that it helps with blocking out outside noise and helping him to settle for sleep. And we just have a few sensory toys that Jacob can play with. Something else we're trying out is these compression shirts and he's got compression pants as well. They are also proven to create that soft, um, that tight, sorry, uh, pressure, deep pressure on them so that they can um, feel safe. Doesn't sound like it, but it is nap time for both kids. Here you go. You've got your dummy and you've got your bottle. Good night, Jacob. I'm gonna finish the rest of the stuff in his room after nap time. Alrighty, it is now past nap time. Um, my mum made some curtains for the kids' bedrooms, essentially black out the light. Um, so I'll show you them. So she made these curtains here. We do have a blind behind here, but it definitely does not black out the light. So different. this definitely helps with um, morning waking. I think I had named everything in here that I'm going to put in here. Jacob has a weighted blanket that we're currently like trialing from his therapist. Um, she lends them out so that you can trial them and you don't have to pay like exorbitant amounts of money before you figure out if it works or not. Um, so Jacob had that to sleep in. That's this one here. It actually has a chain in it. You can't feel the chain. That's just the weight of it. Weighted blankets are known to be very good and very good with everyone really. Like typical people use weighted blankets to help them sleep better. I'm not too sure if it's going to work for Jacob. My mum knows how to make them anyway, so she's going to make one for him so we don't have to buy one, which I'm very thankful for. My mum is very um, crafty. She knows how to sew. She knows how to make all those things, which we're very lucky for because otherwise we'll be paying a lot of money for these items. I'll show you what his room looks like with everything in it. If you've clicked on this video and you have a child with sensory processing difficulties, please let me know down below what you have done or implemented in your children's um, bedroom that helped them out and helped them to sleep better and to regulate themselves better and to not be so overwhelmed. We have the tent. I don't really know which way I can put this tent so it looks good, but I like that this tent has a um, see-through opening at the top and also on the side here. So I want to come in the room to check he's okay. Once he's fallen asleep, then I can just dip my head over. In case I put my head here, he might see me. So um, over here we have the couch that I said we set up. Um, we put that sheet there for now, but um, he's gonna have it over his mattress. This is the mat that he sort of jumps and plays on. 
Here's his books that if he wants to read, his sensory toys and sensory bottles, and there's his salt lamp and his diffuser, which there's his nappies and his white noise machine. And over here is his swing and and his um sensory sack almost. So yeah, that's his sensory room. If you've gotten this far in the video, I'd love you to comment down below, below what's your favorite sense. So sight, smell, taste, touch, and feet. And here, there we go, that's the other one. Thank you for watching today's video. I hope that I have helped someone out um, by showing you what I've done to help out my sensory child's room and yeah definitely give you give me any suggestions that you have um, comment those down below if you like today's video give it a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe down below to see more videos like this yeah join us on this crazy adventure that we're about to embark on thank you bye <laughs>